Hello everybody, Mark Franco here for Pro Staff for Bass Dynasty and Live Rivers. Today we're going to be talking about fly lining a Cinco. The rod and reel you're going to need, the line you're going to need, the hooks you're going to need. Okay, because we know we have the product right here, the Cinco. It's a great product. But to enhance this product, folks, I'm going to put some Bass Dynasty flavor on there. Garlic slime, leech slime, there's all kinds of flavors out there, guys. But one of my favorites right here is going to be the garlic. It's universal, the Bass Dynasty garlic, okay? But let's get back to rigging here. What I'm going to be talking about, guys, is the hook. I like using anywhere from a 2 watt, 3 watt hook, extra wide gap here by owner hook excuse me there guys sorry blanked out owner hooks fishing line i like using eight pound p line floral clear guys it's one of my favorite i like how lazy it sits on top of the water the rod i'm going to be using is a nice seven foot medium to medium light rod i'm looking for those numbers on the rod four to ten six to twelve okay you find that right rod right there you're looking good at your sinkos now here we go so we have the line hooked up to the hook here here's our sinko right here this is a nice six inch sinko what's great about the sinko guys it really works for you basically it closes and it opens okay it closes and then it opens as it's going through the water so I'm gonna rig it here real quick there's my three out hook I'm gonna look for the heart of this worm right in the middle and there you go five cents just a little bit off there give me just a second get it back right in the middle guys is what you're looking for what's great about this and using the light line here guys you're gonna need a spinning reel because those bait casting reels are a little tough to use with light tackle remember we are fly lining a single no weight straight line to the hook Cinco in the middle, you're going to cast it along the shoreline, you're going to point your rod right at the line where the water meets, maybe off to the side a little bit, and you're going to make sure you drag the bottom. What we're trying to do, guys, is to get that worm to close and then open. Close and then open. So basically, your rod's going to be out there, close to the shoreline, or excuse me, close to the water, and you're just going to bump it. Boom, 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 boom. And as you're doing that, that worm is closing, opening, closing, opening acting like a crayfish acting like a crawdad down there basically running for its life as i would say that's one of the bass's favorite foods so that's why this cinco works so well it really mimics that crawdad there guys and remember using a little bit of bass dynasty product getting it down there gives it a little bit more flavor something they're going to hang on to a little bit longer remember this is plastic okay who eats plastic not even fish basically what they're going to do is they're going to suck it up and as soon as they realize it doesn't taste great they're going to spit it out but with the bass dynasty product oh they're going to hang on to it longer because they're going to have a flavor on it it's going to taste good they're going to suck it up so when you're out there fly lining these singles have fun with them they'll work for you guys okay once again have fun fishing them mark franco signing off